Hi, Joe Cerrone. Welcome to CAD 230, Introduction to SolidWorks in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. This week, we'll be taking the midterm exam. The midterm exam, I started it a couple of days early because one of the students um, needed access to it, and so I didn't see any harm in that. And so it started on October 22nd at 12 a.m., and it's on until November 2nd, which is two days longer than I usually leave it on because Halloween is next Monday. And um, I figured some of you guys might want to go out and run around with your kids. So you have a couple of mercy days to get that done. And so the exam is due on November 2nd at 11.59 p.m. Now, when you look at the midterm exam, we're going to be using um, Honor Lock. And what you want to do is you want to use Chrome as your web browser. And I know it's working because I already have one person who took the exam. And the exam is located under Quizzes and Exams. And then it's going to be Module 7 Midterm Multiple Choice right here. And so you just click on it just like you would any other exam and it's going to take you to this outer lock portal and basically what you do is you just go through and answer the multiple choice questions and so give this a minute to get rid of some of that latency caused by the internet and so the questions are very much like the midterm SOLIDWORKS practice exam so if you're good at the drawing part you don't necessarily have to take the midterm practice drawings but it would be a good idea to take the midterm practice exam and see which questions you might need help with. And so you can go through, and this is the midterm exam that you'll be taking with HonorLock. And so it'll take you to the HonorLock portal. And so if I go to HonorLock.com, You can schedule a demo, you can watch the video, and if it's not working right, you, you know, my recommendation for you guys that are in the class is, you know, ask for support first, you know, ask them, hey, you know, I'm not, you know, if you're not able to access the exam, but like I said, one of the students already took it and was able to access the exam, and it's just the multiple choice questions, and so as we, as we look at the multiple choice questions that are going to be in the exam, there are 92 of them. So it's a fairly, you know, rigorous exam. Um, it'll take you, you know, if you take a minute per question, that could be 92 minutes, so an hour and a half. And as you go through and, and take the exam, you can use the computer, you know, to um, help you answer the questions. Um, books and notes are allowed and so as we go through um, it's going to be due on November 2nd like I said 11:59, and you just turn that in if I go back and look at the quizzes and I look at this midterm module I have one person who's already taken the exam so I know that it's running and that it's working and then I'll go through and grade that when you use the honor lock, they will charge you. And so what you'll need is a credit card and you'll need a picture ID and you'll need a computer with a webcam. And so what they'll do is they'll, um, they'll access you and they'll ask you to show you their, your identification. They probably ask you to pan the webcam around the room and then they'll let you start the exam. And it's just take the multiple choice exam and you're all set. So, that's part one. And then part two of the exam is located under content. Module seven midterm. And so here's the instructions, you know, same thing. Part one, you use honor lock. And then for part two, you don't need honor lock. So all you gotta do is take part one, multiple choice. I verify your identity and then you download these part models, 
when you download the instructions. And so if I take a look at that, And one of them is a word file, so you can use a word processor and you can just put your name right there on it. Uh, and so it's editable, but you just draw this first part. You set the material as nylon 6 slash 10. And then once you have that part drawn, you know, I would go through, you know, in the start with the sketch. Make sure you pay attention to where the origin is. Not so much on being able to calculate out the mass, but more so on some of the more advanced ones that you'll see in the future where they ask you for the center of gravity on it. And so then, you know, we, we go through and start with an extrude. Add our cut. Add another cut to it, third cut, and then your material needs to be specified. So if I if I go and edit the material, set up under plastics, nylon 610, and then they set these material properties within the SolidWorks. And so you don't need to worry about going through and setting those. But once everything is set, then all you have to do is go to the Evaluate tab, click on the Mass Properties, and calculate out that Mass Property, and put that information right here. And the, that's the way the SOLIDWORKS exams are. They don't go through and, and check your sketches and, and do, I mean, I'll check your sketches to see that they're fully defined and stuff. But as far as the mass goes, that's all I really need if you were like taking the CSWA. And so if the mass calculation is correct and you've modeled the part correctly, then you get the points for each one. And so the first one's 15 points, second one's 15 points, third one's 15 points, fourth one's 25 points. It's a little bit more work. It's made of um, AISI 1020. And then you go through and model that, calculate out the mass. And then the last one's worth 30 points. So that will uh, satisfy the drawing requirement for the exam. And then you can turn those in under quizzes. If I go and view this as a student, you can turn those in on the assignments folder. And you can turn those in under module seven midterm. And those would do. November 2nd. And that's basically it. After after that, you know, we just pick up on the next module, which will be module eight. And then as we go through, the course will go by rather quickly, where we'll kind of get ourselves set up to take the CSWA or the Cert Certified SolidWorks Associate Exam. All right. And so that's basically all there is to it. Take the hands-on exam without honor lock. Okay. The drawing part, you can just take it home, but the um, the multiple choice questions need to be taken and proctored. If you have any questions or if you have any problems, you can just instant message me or email me, and then I'll check it and get back to you. But we've got plenty of time to get this done. All right, so that ends this Zoom classroom uh, meeting with a recap of the midterm. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me. I'm going to stop the video and post it and open things up for questions.